everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel today we're on my island hoppington and we're gonna try and do whatever we can do at the back of this island today i think i want to stick the museum here but i also was thinking of doing toby's house so i don't know let's just get to it we're basically right back here so able sisters is what we built in the last video it is literally right there i want to get into this straight away because the ideas are flowing but they're also not flowing i think i know what i want to do but i don't know for certain and i feel like we've all been there we all have i kind of know but i kind of don't we need to make a land bridge we do we need to make a land bridge let's just do it here it needs to be free wide it's gonna have to be a little bit of adjusting but we can we can adjust we can adjust the situation fill it in we gotta fill it in and then this bit can chop away so we got this we have got this Oh, it's, oh no, we don't have this. I'm once again humoring myself and building with Joy-Cons. We know how I feel about building with Joy-Cons. I just feel like they're just a little bit less responsive than the controller. And I don't know why that is. I don't have the controller plugged in when I use it. So it's not that, it's not because it's like connected to the, the console at all. I just don't know what it is. So this road is gonna go all the way up this way like so. Don't know where it's gonna go. Don't know where it's gonna lead. That's the fun part. I would really love to make some small little lily pads but I don't feel like it's gonna happen because I'd have to resize them and that's all just a big pain. Also, I was thinking, do I stick the museum on a lily pad? What do I do? Where do I go? I don't know. Also, by the way, I'm not I'm not bored of this island. I thought I'd just clear this up a little bit. I feel like what I said in my last video might have come across different to how I was feeling. I'm not bored of this island. I'm not bored of it at all. I just it feels like it's a lot right now. I'm doing a lot of green, a lot of yellow. I could change it up, but that's just too much hassle. I'm definitely not bored of it. I just feel like I need something else at the moment so i'm working on something else can't tell you it's a secret unless i've already released something on it i don't know i don't know when these videos come out i just basically sit and i film them and then just release them and somehow manage to get them in order okay so this this is our situation we could do a fancy pantsy museum and i think i'm going to do you know what go for it just do it just go for the fancy museum. We need to bring this across. Actually, no. First things first. Upsy daisies we go. We need to plan out where this museum is actually going to fit. That's the question first. I don't want to just bring this over pointlessly. So the museum is four by... Yeah, four by seven. It is four by seven. I want it to be right at the back. But then I'm also like, do I use the medieval walls? Hmm, we could do. We could use the medieval walls. Let's just plan out where the museum goes first. So the museum's gonna have to go here. So one, two. Oh, well, look, would you believe it? It fits. Although I'm gonna move it over just by one. Let's move it over by one, like this. And then it'd be one, two, three, four. So we don't need to do the whole square because why, why, why waste time? <laughs> That doesn't look big enough for the museum, does it? It doesn't, but it, it is. It's big enough. So that's where our museum is going to go. I then need to go down here and sort out this terraforming. Because we want a little bit on the side, just so that we're able to put some trees. I don't know how far across I'm going to need it. I think if we just stick with the normal, so if we just do two... Actually, no, you still can't put a tree in. If we just do three we can put a tree in at least also thank you so much by the way to everyone who's always so positive in my comment section thank you so much you're always so lovely you're always like oh thank you for you know releasing the video today i was excited to see the video today and honestly it means more than you'll ever know it's it's just a nice feeling i love all the comments you guys leave it's so sweet thank you see now i have this idea that i want to do waterfalls but i guess we could do those in front of the museum itself i feel like nowadays I feel like before I just used to kind of put the museum wherever it would just fit. Now, lately, especially this island and the last island, I'm like, the museum has to be it. It has to be the place where it's all it. I feel like we keep going extravagant with the museum. By the way, I'm Little Miss Chatterbox today. I thought I'd just let you know. So there's gonna be a lot of talking while I'm building today. Rather than me just being like, I'm gonna stick this here. It's probably gonna be a lot of random talking. Now, a lot of you have been saying that you would love to see me do something completely out of my comfort zone. I think golf core came up. I'm tempted but I don't know if I'd be very good. I could give it a go. I mean, how would you feel if I tried it and if I didn't like it, I just restarted it? <laughs> but also the flip side of that, that would be pointless. Right, how many squares is one, two, three, four? So we're gonna have to do four this side too because this is only free so if we just do an extra layer also let me know down below what's the craziest theme you've ever done or what's the craziest theme you've ever seen 
let me know. And if you know the creator of this crazy theme that you've seen, I want to know who the creator is. Pop them in the comments down below so I can go see their Instagram. Maybe they'll let me tour their islands. That would be kind of fun. All right, let's go find my cupboard. I need to find my cupboard because I need to see if there's any actual medieval walls left in there. I don't think there is, but I'm going to check. I have three. I have three medieval walls. I don't know what these will actually look like behind the museum. They could look hideous. We might not like them at all, but you know, you never know until you try. I'm gonna have to grab some more. I know that for a fact. See, we could put them on top of something, but I'm just like, no, no, we don't need to worry about that. We're gonna stick bushes and trees in anyway. So there's those. I'm curious if that's gonna look nice. Let's grab the museum and that's the only way we're gonna find out. And if I don't like them when we have a look, before we place the museum, they're gone. Right back we go, I got the museum. Also, I'm coming up with another random idea in my head that could be seriously fun. I, w I hope it's gonna be fun. I hope I can pull it off. I might need to move the museum over a little bit. So we wanna see how the museum looks with the walls behind it. That's our main goal here. Let's see. I think we're gonna have to go over by one more. There's a reason. I feel like you need to see the medieval wall a bit more. There you go. I think that's better. You watch me completely get rid of the medieval walls. <laughs> He wants me get rid of them because it's a strong possibility. So now that we've got that in place, let's get rid of this on the floor because we don't need it now. This is our old marker. I think what I'm going to have to do is quickly time travel, grab some medieval walls and I'll be right back. Actually, I might as well order the walls because if I'm time traveling, what's the point in going to a treasure island if I'm going to go forward a day anyway? I just type in med because it's so much easier. Look, see, they're only 9,800 each. Let's get a couple. So we only needed three, right? If we get three, we'll be fine. Okay, so now we can time travel and my medieval walls will be delivered. Okay, they came. We got our medieval walls. Let's go. Oh, there's a double rainbow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I love the double rainbow. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I got excited when I saw it. Right, here we are. We're up by the museum. We will have to extend the terraforming again, but that's okay. I don't know if I need free, but we have free just in case I needed free. That doesn't look the same. Oh no, the, the museum is bigger, isn't it? That's gonna bug me. Do you know what? Actually, I don't even like it anymore. We've ordered these walls and I don't even like them. They're gone. They've bugged me too much. They just don't fit. Okay, so I've decided to go for the hedges instead. I think it would just look a lot nicer behind the museum. Obviously, we're still gonna put trees here and everything. We need to extend this out by one because remember, the other side was four, but we moved it over by one, so it needs to be bigger. Okay, that should be perfect. Let's go back up. This definitely looks better than what it did with the medieval walls. Right, I wanna see it right here. Wow, that wasn't where I wanted it. I wanted to go square ahead. Oh no, that just completely went in the wrong place. I wanted it here, right in front of the hedge. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the same this side. Wait, is it that close? Oh, it is, it is that close. There's only one square. Let's put the other cedar in like so. Perfect. We could do a cute little area in front of the museum, which I might still do. So we're gonna put this cute little wooden decking here in front of the museum. I think I wanna bring it down to maybe about here, maybe to there. I think that's good. And then what we can do is terraform. So we do need to put in two staircases. Now I want to put in the staircases like either side. I guess we should plan that out first. I think that's the main thing we have to do. We'll put the staircases in last. I'm pretty sure you can terraform water next to staircases. I'm thinking I can, but I don't know for sure. I guess I'll find out by the end of this video. But we want two staircases like this. So then you'll come downstairs. Oh, see, I feel like they should go back one. Just, just an extra one. Just so it's tucked nicely in here. Yeah, see, like that, that's perfect. Up, see we go. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping so, because if it doesn't, I feel like I don't know what else I'm going to do. Wait, why can't I? Ah, ha, see, told you I can. And then we want to do the same this side. So we want a double waterfall. I was going to do little ponds. I don't know if I'm going to do little ponds yet. So we're going to leave it like that. Also, I'm not too fussed if this ends up blocked off. Because this could just be a cute little tree area or something. I'm not sure yet. Or we could do an observatory on the side of the museum. Don't know. Don't know yet. We need to get rid of this rock. Now here comes the part that I could regret. I'm going to make little jumping way over to here. I'm hoping it comes out nice. I feel like I said that every single build we do, I'm like, I hope. 
I just, I just hope, I truly just hope. <laughs> I just hope my stairs fit. See, we could add a little jumping pad here. We want to pop a lily pad on top of this, like so. And then you can bounce to that one. How cute. Now we've got to somehow do the same here. So I want to leave enough space so that we can put the incline in. So I want to do what I did with this one. But this, this has got to go. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what I was gonna do with the museum originally. I just had this random idea. I was gonna put Toby back here, so if you remember from my previous videos, or even the members video, I was saying that I think I'm gonna put Toby here, but obviously we changed our mind, and that's okay to do so. It's okay to change your mind, you don't have to stick with the same plan. If changing your mind helps you with something when you're building an Animal Crossing, then definitely do it, change your mind, even change the build you've already done if you need to. I think we could probably get away with adding a little stepping thing there, get rid of this. By the way, I'm no expert, I'm no expert. So many people have asked me, can you do terraforming videos? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not, because I'm not good at it. Some of you may say, oh, the terraforming looks amazing. Thank you so much for being nice about the terraforming, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I don't know what I'm doing. I just chop away until I like it. That's my best advice. Chop away until you like it. Now, I hope my inclines fit. I really do. I think they will. Anyway, up here, we're going to do something, something. I need to add more trees. I think we can add a tree. Can we add one here? Actually, get the shovel. The shovel sometimes helps. Nope, not there. It definitely won't go there. Here it will, though. And then we can get one in the other side, too, right? Oh, it looks very nice. I like it. We're going to do a lot of frogs around this area and also the Kuropi snacks. That's the plan. That's the plan for this. So I'm going to have to do something strange in a minute. I've done it before and, you know, it's always fine. I'm probably going to have to film the rest of this video tomorrow. So IRL tomorrow, but don't worry. It'd be like four seconds for you. Only because I need to go stream in a minute. And if you didn't know, I stream on this channel three times a week. We stream Animal Crossing plus other cozy games or just games I like in general. Nothing scary. We're not a, we're not a scary horror channel. Not yet anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. I would never be a scary channel. Imagine me playing scary games. No. But yeah, so we stream a few times a week. So be sure to check in. We mainly stream on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 p.m. UK time. Sometimes 6. Right, that looks fun. We could probably bring the extra pieces down to here now. Ah, oh, see, I kind of like that. We're going to do a little area over here and a little area here. I might do a fossil gyroid digging area this side. And then I might do a little bug or frog research area here we could even probably extend this and add a pond that would actually be a really good idea i'm gonna do that i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah so let's start extending this okay so it's actually the next day now i did this terraforming and then i had to go stream so there it is this is what we did that's all i did let me quickly just add this fencing across here now actually i don't know if i want it to go all the way i don't think so i think i want to put a little pond in so let's get our pond a pond maker, I was gonna say. It's not a pond maker, it's it's a thing. It's a shovel, that's it. It's a shovel design tool, waterscaping tool, whatever you wish to call it. That's what it is. I want to bring all these across like so. I think I might add a little lily pad on the end here just because I really like the lily pads. Let's just start designing this. So I want this to be a little bit of a pond. It doesn't matter if you can get over here or not. I'm not too fussed about that. I do, however, want to get a tree in here. So we might have to put the tree in first. Also, my Joy-Cons are doing that thing. You know when we were on about it before and I was on about the Joy-Cons just really weirdly disconnect or they just vibrate really strange? That's what mine's doing right now. It's very weird. It's almost like the spring is gone in the Joy-Cons, which is odd because it's a it's a new set of Joy-Cons, so it shouldn't really be doing that. Right, we're nearly there. I need to chop this bit off. Oh, I feel like I need to put a tree on the end here as well. Right, let's just make this look somewhat really cute. I don't want to bring it out too far because I do want to be able to put furniture around here. There's already a lot of water terraforming on this island, so I feel like we're not we're not lacking in the water. Also, there is a mole cricket. I can hear it. I hate the mole cricket. The mole cricket is a curse, I swear. Anyway, back to doing this. I'm gonna leave this bit blank. I think I wanna do something there. I need to also work on this side. So I was thinking of, mm, do you know what I'm gonna do actually first? First things first, I'm gonna get an incline put in or two inclines put in. Number one, it'll probably get rid of that mole cricket. And number two, it's so I don't have to keep getting my ladder out to come down to my storage shed. 
So I'm gonna quickly get the stairs and pop them in and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit lazy today, so I've only put one incline for now. We'll do the other one later, but let's get back on over to the museum and start decorating. Right back we are. Oh, we gotta do a, wig a wiggle through. We'll sort this bit out later, but here's what we have. Look at this cute incline. Once we have the other one on the other side as well, I think it's gonna look really adorable. Oh, there's a gold thingy. Get rid of this. Bells are mine. What we need to do here is do a little gyroid digging spot. So I'm going to need some more fences. Oh, look at this. I don't need to get my ladder out. I am, however, going to move my storage shed closer just because... Right? Just just because. I don't know how this is going to look or come out. I don't have a clue, but I'm going to try my best. I decided to go with the park fencing. I do need to leave a gap because I'm going to need to get in there to put flowers down, but that's okay. We'll leave a little gap just here on the left. I'm going to use two different colors of the park fencing. So we have yellow, we have the green, and then I think, do I want to put that at the front as well? Maybe just at the side. Oh, not there. Maybe just at the side here. Oh, no, but that's where the stairs are. Okay, we're gonna have to move it over by one. Oh, I'm gonna have to put that one in. I was going to bug me. It's all right. We'll pick a different one up. I really don't like that corner piece. I just think it looks really strange. I think I need to get a bush in here instead. So I'm probably gonna have to do that in a second. What color have I got in my hand? Is this green? Yeah, that's the green. Perfect. So I'm thinking we could do a little bit of a walkway here. I'm probably gonna use the flower path. So if we just do like a dot of it, like so, I think that looks quite cute. We can fill the other bits up with flowers and bushes. Oh wait, we've also got the stairs to worry about. Let's do the stairs this side first so I know what it's going to look like, you know, and then I can kind of mirror it on the other side. See, that kind of works. I like that. And now we're going to have to just do the same here. Well, similar. We're going to do similar. It's a little bit different. There you go. Oh, that's not going to work though, is it? Because the stairs are one forward. See, I'm being silly now. I'm being a clown. There we go. That looks better. And then in here, I'm hoping to put some of the gyroids. So I've just gone for some random gyroids. I just, I really want a digging spot. Also, I'm not going to put the dirt code down because I don't really want to. I don't want it to appear on my map. I like my map as it is and it's kind of frustrating that it will appear on the map but what can you do but we are gonna have some dig spots so i'm gonna bury some things here and here so maybe we should just grab some random stuff right random stuff from my storage let's see what we have okay so i literally grabbed a jukebox so i can bury it oh no that's placed don't place it you need to bury it bury bury it in the hole there we go. And then I also grabbed a canned green tea because I thought if someone digs it up, that'd be quite amusing. But I doubt it because I'm not going to leave you a shovel. Now, also around here, I think we might do a little bit of dotted dirt. I think the dirt will look quite nice, actually. So if we just do a little circle of the dirt here, like so. And then we could drop a fossil on top. I don't like this area. It really needs to have the, what you call it. It needs the, um, oh, it need it needs something. It needs the dirt on the floor because it just doesn't look like a digging area. I hate it. I don't like it. It's going, it's gone. Okay, the change of plan. Need my helmet. I'm going to put down this white plank code. So we're just going to do a little bit of it here. And then I want to go and get a log bench and some more gyroids. Hopefully we can make a little singing area for the gyroids. It will probably look better than the dig site I was trying to do. <laughs> okay, before we do this little gyroid area, I did go and quickly collect some bushes and flowers. I did forget to get weeds though, but that's, that's okay. We can get the weeds in a minute. I want to put some of the flowers in. Just so we have a little bit of color, you know, and I don't have to worry about moving stuff to put it all back. I think a little puddle would look really cute there. There we go. Also, I did have a log bench, so I'm super happy about that. Let's put our log bench here. And then we can put a couple of the gyroids on top. I need to go and get some more gyroids. But we got one there and we got the little squeezoid there. Squeezoid? I think that's what it was called. I don't know. I don't know their names. I think that looks kind of cute. Maybe just put this one here in front. So there's a gyroid. I think we can put another one here. And then what I might do is do little cushions and then stick the gyroids on top. So it looks like they're watching the other gyroids sing. 
I don't know if I'm gonna like that, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Also, I'm just gonna pop this hedge all the way along here. Just kind of blocks everything in a little bit better, right? It just makes everything feel a bit more closed in. On the ends here, I think I'm gonna stick some lily pads. And then I really wanna stick either some frogs or karopis on the end. So that's what we can do. Let me just stick one this side. I'm gonna do the same the other side too. Okay, right. We're gonna have to leave that as a gap because I need to go grab those. But yeah, I need to grab more gyroids and some cushions. Okay, I'm hoping this will look cute. I'm, I'm struggling with this area, I'm not gonna lie. Also, I forgot to pick up gyroids. <laughs> I forgot to do it. Instead of putting weeds down, I was thinking maybe we should just use the mush items. So I do have a mush low stall to go there. And I was thinking of putting the lamp there, but apparently I've put it away. <laughs> I accidentally did that. Let's put a chalkboard here. Maybe it looks like they're trying to teach music, you know? It's a gyroid school. Also, for outside of the museum, I did pick up some topiary. So we got a little round one, which doesn't fit. Let's try again. See, it should fit. There it is, round topiary, and then I've got one for the other side too. Do they not go any closer? Nope, not at all. Also, I think this is going to be too big. Oh, it didn't even go where I wanted it to go. I have to push it over. This is a flower stand. It's very cute. Look at it. Can we still get past? Yeah. I thought it just made it feel a bit more spring, you know? A bit more sprinkle. I kind of really like it. It's over the top. I love it. Can I stick a bush here? Oh, I can. I'm going to do one the other side. Perfect. I think that looks really nice, actually. I like it. I only had one Zen cushion. Yep, I only had one. But I also had a pile of Zen cushions, which I believe the gyroids can sit on as well. So that could kind of work for us. But I think that looks really sweet. Let's just add a gyroid to the top. Put it here. You see, it's almost like he's learning. Oh, it's too cute. I kind of want to push him forward, though, because I also did pick up a log bench. Let's pop our log bench down. So we've got a wild log bench. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in a, a hedge behind here, though, now. Might have to push him forward again. Oh, no, don't sit. Push the log bench forward. There, that could be cute, right? It could be cute. And then I think along here, I'm just going to go for green yellow green and then yellow that's perfect i'm gonna leave this open because i need to get the karopi snacks and then we'll obviously be able to fence it in and put the incline here but i think this looks really nice i'm actually really happy with it i am however going to change this ever so slightly i just want to bring it up a little bit to kind of cover some more of these squares in like so right Look at that. It's just a cute little tiny area. Oh, I love tiny builds. Now, over this side, we need to figure out what we're doing. So I do want a table. I want to put a table here and some frog stuff. So, or I could do bugs. I'm like, are the frogs going to research frogs? That's weird, right? Over here, though, I know what won't be strange. We're going to pop in a little blanket. So I'm going to go for this one because I actually really like this one right now. This is my favorite. I just want to stick a little blanket here. I could have added another piece, but I think it just looks nice with just the one. I need to go get some flowers and I need to start decorating this little bit. And then we'll be able to put some furniture in. Also, I picked up this mush parasol, but there's going to be nothing behind it. You watch me pick this up in the next couple of seconds because I want a bush behind. I know I definitely haven't picked up enough stuff, but it's a start. Anyway, here goes that mush parasol I said I'd pick up so we could put a bush. Oh no, the bush was in the wrong place. All right, let's try again. Bush in there. And then, oh, do you know what? I'm going to do it. I can't resist. I'm going to put a little bit of a code under this mush parasol because, like I said, I can't resist. Can't help myself. Where did it even go? There it is. Beautiful. So we got the log dining table. So I could put chairs in, but it's definitely going to take up way too much room. So I'm not going to do that. Also, this mini DIY bench, which I'm kind of like, looks like a research table. So I, I kind of like it. Also, we got a bug there and a bug here. And then, oh, I got to customize a few things. But I also picked up another gyroid to go on our cushions over here. It says place you on there. And there you go. It looks like they're learning to sing. I love this. It's too cute. So to go on the table as well, I picked up document stack right there and then also i picked up this bottle crate i thought maybe we could put that here so it looks like you can sit on it but we're of course going to put a bug on there also i want to stick another bug here just so it looks like even more research is being done and then i also have a book but i think i'm gonna pick this up oh no i could have spun it round it's okay it's too late now let's put the book here give this a spin and then put the document stack on here and then give it back a spin again so that we get the book on this side 
I think that looks quite cute. I wish I had a small plank code to just walk us up here. I do have the dirt one. So I have the singular dirt, but I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm going to try just in case I do. Yeah, this is not so bad. I think we can make this work. I wish I had the end pieces, but I do not. Oh, yes. Actually, I kind of like you a bit more further over. Yeah, I think that works. And then we've got a cute little walkway as well. Also, something else I picked up, which I think it might just be a little bit over the top, but I don't really care. We're going to stick these Karopi lanterns up here. I'm going to stick one here and one this side. Make sure they're facing forward. I just think it's a little bit... A little bit more dramatic. I don't know. I like it. I'm going to stick another lily pad here. I need to go get some Karopi snacks. I don't think I have any. To get some more from the treasure island. Oh yes. Also, I did pick up a telescope. Because I really want to stick a telescope here. Oh, maybe we should do a bit of a... A flower path here. So it looks like you can walk from there on top of the flowers. Because who doesn't want to walk on top of these cute beautiful flowers there we go so we have the flowers and then the telescope should go nicely there oh do i like it that way i was gonna face it this way but i think this way just looks really nice it just looks nicer also i did pick up this cage and i think it will fit really nicely here it just adds to the bug vibes also i do need to go and grab a net i think i'm gonna get one from nook's cranny for some reason i picked up a pot i don't know where i was planning to put the pot maybe we could stick it here i think it's gonna look weird oh that's a garden wagon that's definitely not what I wanted. We wanted the pot. I don't know. I need to grab more stuff. I need flowers. Right, I am back with flowers. Oh no, I still didn't grab the Karopi snacks. Let me grab them. I just went to get another incline and I also ordered some Karopi snacks because I need to time travel to get the incline built in anyway. So I thought, why not just do it all together? It's so much easier. Right, this is the spot we know it is. I'm glad it fits in without me having to change my water terraforming. That was my only worry. I also grabbed some flowers so we can start putting the flowers along here. I don't want to put them in every single gap. I do want to add, oh, maybe a custom code here. Or I was going to add some weeds, but I think I like the little puddle code too much. So there goes a puddle. Over here, I'm probably going to do the same. <laughs> I'm going to do the same. I'm going to add a flower and then I'm going to add a custom code. Maybe not the puddle one this time though. Actually, I'm lying. It'll be this puddle instead. Oh, that looks so cute though. We haven't even decorated the blanket yet i've just realized right we need to put one here and i'm thinking one here we'll go with the green and then of course guess what we're putting in the middle a little code yes we are there's our code right can i jump across jump across please thank you i need to decorate this bit these are the bits that are tedious these are the bits that i would say definitely break people it is true these are the ones where you just go why why? Why did I do this to myself? And my advice, my advice for areas like this that you think, oh no, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to cover all this. No, don't do that. Don't cover it all. Just cover little bits. Okay, just get this and just cover it like this. Add a little code here and there. Even if it's the tiniest, miniest of codes that you don't really notice, trust me, it will make you feel so much better about your island and you just, you just feel better about it. Okay? Trust me. Also, I do need to grab some bushes. I realize I don't have any to put over there. But I think this has come out cute so far. I just, I need to time travel because I need my Karopi snacks. Yeah, we probably could just finish off by doing the picnic blanket. So let me quickly time travel. I'll be right back. I have my Karopi snacks. I'm so happy. I love these little things. They're just cute little frogs. I know there's frog models that exist, but I can't resist these. Look at them. They're just too cute. I didn't mean to do that, but here you go, here's my snack. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't eat it right. It could have been worse. I could have munched on it. Right, let's put the other one in and then we should be good for the Karopi snacks. This is over the top and I don't care because I want it to be. Right, I'm going to chuck in a few weeds here and there. So we're going to stick one here and then I want to stick one here just to fill in the gaps so they don't spread. Oh, also I might need to stick one here. I don't know. Let's just put a bush in. Put a bush... And then actually just stick a flower. I think a flower would look really nice. Right, let's jump across. Anywhere else that I have to stick anything in. I just need to have a look. Did I forget my hedges? I forgot my hedges again. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to have to go get them. Right, we have the hedges. <laughs> we didn't forget them. Let's put them across here. And then I'm going to have to stick a bush in here, I think. Because 
the flowers are gonna look strange but i think i like the bush the bush looks nice now the last thing i need to do for this build today is fill in that little picnic area i've only got a few bits because i still want you to be able to walk through also yes i just ran through my flower and i hate myself at least it didn't break the flower right like, let's put it like this i do have a camera i want to stick a camera here on the side and then the last thing we want to add is a coffee cup because who doesn't love a drink, right? Who doesn't love a nice warm drink? Well, some people don't like warm drinks. Well, who doesn't like to drink, right? <laughs> who doesn't like to drink? But anyway, I think that's it for now. Actually, I wish you could get over to that, but you just can't. I think it looks cute though. But there it is. I think we finished today's build. It is time to have a look around. So if you come up from behind Able Sisters, you can jump over these lovely little jump spots. There is one this side, but I realize I haven't done the lily pad yet, but I'm not decorating down here just yet because I kind of don't know what I want to do. Maybe we could put a statue here, but if we go up this incline, we get to the museum and I'm actually really happy with this museum. It feels almost natural but also built up i don't know i just really like it so we've got a little gyroid singing lesson area over here where you can join in on the singing and learn how to sing like a gyroid also didn't put weeds in here whoopsie <laughs> let me add these quickly you didn't see that no you didn't on the left side we have a little bug research area i'm guessing that one of our frogs was it huck i think it was huck that we did it for Huck comes up here and does some research with Blavers as well as at his house. And then over here we have a little observatory area, which unfortunately you can't get to. Actually, that's kind of a shame. I might end up adding another lily pad so that you're able to jump over to that part. Just because, you know, I want you to be able to access it. But yeah, that is it. What does the museum look like from down here? Oh, see, I really like it. I think it looks cute. And then we have it. We finished today's museum build. I had so much fun, like I always do. I love these lanterns. These are so cute. Also, I'm really happy with the singing gyroid area. I think that's my favorite part. And now, don't forget, if you did enjoy today's build, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.